Hi, my name is Vyacheslav Tissen and I want to show you my new add-on, Simply Material Fashion Design. So let's get starting here in this point um, with the UI of the new add-on. And if we have created some clothes like this with uh, me, my add-on Simply Clothes Pro, it was a few seconds and I had this very cool result. I hope you see this quality here. So, and the next step will be after creating clothes in Blender to texturize it or give it a material. Uh, and there are many, many cool materials for clothes and textures. And I don't like it to go to the shader node and every time create it, add textures, set up the tiling and so on and so on. So the, the idea came from um, laziness uh, in, in some um, reasons. So I don't have that much time to every time create a shader node here and uh, uh, connect the nodes every time and select the textures. So in this case, we don't need the shader, shader nodes for this workflow, we just need the viewport panel and viewport uh, scene here and the UI of the add-on and that's it. So I recommend to have a UV unwrapped version depending on each uh, clause or it is um, pants or it's t-shirts, something like that. Uh, it should have a good clean U UV unwrapping. So in this case, it was a plane subdivided many times and simulated. And so we can check the UV here in the UV editor. And we see it's fully uh, fit to the UV uh, texture um, space. And we can now work with the add-on. So we just starting here, create a simply material. And you see in background this, creating some nodes. I understand it, but I don't uh, like to use it every time. So we just close this and we are current in the viewport shading solid mode. So to see some resu results, we go to the render view and we get this basic material directly after creating the material for this clause. So, what can we do here? Let's start. We have the blend mode and we can change it uh, during the workflow and uh, the shade, uh, shadow mode here, but we don't need this in the first point. We have the simply textures UI tab and we open this panel here and it starts all from base micro texture and overlay an additional image to the last it's like a small layering if i want to change the textures i just can select it here for the base if i turn it off we only have this and if we check an EV, it will look a bit different, but uh, good too. So depending on where you're working on which render engine, you can uh, uh, set up the parameters to, to the best needed result. So in this case, we can start from uh, the base texture. I want a different texture and let's go. Let's have a try and select some cool textures. In this add-on, you will get in the full version this folder with th simply textures, AI generated textures and own created textures. It was created with ve vector graphics programs 
or photos I, I took uh, from my clothes or uh, everywhere I was and saw, an saw a nice uh, texture pattern and textile or fabric uh, texture. I just photographed it, make it tileable and create one texture. And we can see we have uh, some categorized like art, culture and textures by itself with distortion, overlays, details, colored textures, logos, micro textures, realistic and synthetic. The other will be cultures. For now we have this, Arabic, Asian, Cyber, uh, Egyptian, Greek, medieval, medieval and Nordic. And we can start with the medieval part, for example. And I want to have a, a, a royal luxury um, design for now. I just select this pattern here and accept. And so we see first changes here. So I don't like the color. I just click here to close the UI for the textures and we can see in the UI elements tab, uh, we can see colors and then we start with the base color. And here we have a color ramp. If I want to use the original texture col uh, color from the texture, I can hit this button. In EV, it should recompile it again. In cycles, it is uh, uh, like a seamless over, over, um, uh, over uh, lapping or transition directly so we can easily set up the color from from the texture pattern and we can start with something like this or a bit more royal i think would be cool and a bit darker something like that in kind of velvet I try to achieve. So these colors we can work with. Uh, you have the option here to blur it a bit if needed in some points it's needed or play with the hue saturation value so you can set down the saturation and if you use uh, original texture color you can use the hue to change it, it wherever you want. So for this now, it is okay. We can make it brighter, but I leave it like this. So I don't like the tiling of the of the clothes now. So we just easily go here and we can play with the scaling. Very fast, very easy. And yes, it, it looks nice. So next step will be the micro texture. Why we have the micro texture? If we zoom to our class like this, we have a good result, but it's very smooth and not close like. So we have the micro texture. You can easily select a different micro texture like this, or something like this. And we see some nice pattern. And perhaps it's good enough for now. I can scale it up to a very uh, low, uh, high uh, scale, so we have much details. So from the first, with the denoising, it could destroy the, the micro texture in this viewport. So depending on which scale you have, now we can see a bit, but uh, the denoising is destroying it. So depending on how uh, far away you are working, you can easily set up the textures. So we have a bunch of uh, pre-made textures. We can take something like wool and with the lower scaling perhaps and now we have a wool-like mm, fabric. So I want a bit of hardness in this case or jeans-like. Perhaps something like this will be nice too. So it will create a special special color. So I don't like this here and uh, we choose another one. The, the first was I think very good. So if we get to this result it's nice. And 
like uh, we can see is the color of the micro texture is burning into the base color we can check this in colors we go down and check the micro color ramp and see yes it is mixed to the base with 50 percent if we have zero nothing will create it but you can see here in this pattern it is uh, working with normal map so the transition here to normal map from the micro texture is I don't want to have it in the color I only want the micro texture for the normals so we switch here to normals and get this nice overview this is the render engine cycles option here for displacement here you need a um, feature set set to experimental and add a subdivision mid ad uh, with adaptive um adaptive uh how it is was called i, I forgot uh, adaptive resolution something like that um yes i don't switch it this is not showing up here so it was my fault adaptive sub subdivision was so we see how it work you can add here and it will pop up if we enabled it but i don't need this at this moment i want to have the micro pattern only in the blue area and not in these uh, symbols here we see um, we need to change it to additional or add and now we can see only the micro texture appearing uh, in the needed part so in this area we can play with the normal intensity from the micro and just easily invert if needed but we don't need this first okay so this is going to the right steps and I want to play with the roughness i don't like it is very very rough it's not shiny um, i switch now to roughness we easily can set up the blend mode of course again the mixed texture how the base texture is affecting to the rough roughness value and just for see some results i go with the roughness to zero so it's fully shiny now but i don't want this i want to have only these golden parts in uh, shiny mode and the other should be close so we can play we can create this effect very easy with the color ramp just inverting like this and there it is now we have I try a bit higher um, resolution. Perhaps the texture is not that how we can uh, work with. And let's try something like this. Yes, it's looking more royalish, but it's not that what I want. Perhaps something like that. And the color again something greenish something like that will be interesting yes it's okay or something like this this should be okay for representing the needed stuff so we go back to the roughness and of course easily we can mix the texture or set all to to uh, zero now it's inverted here uh, oh it's inverted in the color ramp so the base will be like this it's all shiny now and all rough but we want to have only the pattern and the effect was um, mix the texture and of course 
set up to zero so we only affect these parts and um, you see here it is affecting very hard and if I don't want it that high reflection I just select a higher value something like that so and now we have only this part is shining so the next step will be go from the micro texture to the overlay which is epic why this is epic we choose an overlay texture something something like that only for showcase now we go to the normal tab i uh, reduce it to zero um, a, few, a few minutes ago but now we can set it up to 50 and play with the scaling Now we can create something like a close from the bed and we have very fast good results. Of course all will be faster if I'm not talking but I try to show you the, the point here how epic this is. So I don't like the, the scaling and the, the rotation. What can we do? We just go to UI elements, transform, rotation, and scale, and only rotate uh, the, the base, the base pattern, or the overlay, depending on what you want. So let's try with forty-five. Oh, it will. It was perfect. <laughs> I just want to test, but to set it to ninety, but the the effect will be not that the same. So we just change it to 45 degrees and we have a nice looking result. So if the overlay is not that high like you want, you go to normals and you can see here the overlay normal that 200, no much differences. So this is causing the base normal. In this case, we can try it to set it to zero and the effect will be stronger. And now the roughness we can play with again to make this pop overlay a bit of more, more shiny. Perhaps we make this and create in this section, oh, in this section again, a bit of roughness. So we have a nice close. If we turn up the, uh, turn down the scaling, we can achieve different results. So depending on what you want, you can achieve very cool effects. Something, let's try this, for example. Or try a different overlay texture what could be interesting just uh, wrinkles and stuff and set down the uh, intensity so we have a clean close and we see it's going inside in the normals i don't like this now it's better and set up the intensity slowly up and then we have base wrinkles overlaid in this part this is possible too with the add-on very easy very fast so if we have something like that to five three this is okay transform rotation and scale up to to zero is not good we need here this um rotation perhaps 90 degrees no minus 90 this is okay this is nice so it is going from here to there so what can we do else of course we can do alpha and cut out needed parts so let's test it with 
nice value and there you see alpha is appearing and when it starts break down we check this here with the ramp uh-huh if we only want to have the birds like or something which is connected will be better for this for this showcase so we can play with the alpha directly here no shader nodes and and have very fast good results so where we have a good texture here perhaps this could be interesting too depending on how high you're working you can achieve very fast very good results ah i missed the texture perhaps let's try a different one greek what have we here something like that nice too but the alpha is not working here so it is not realistic just turn it to zero and let's go to the next point and change the color perhaps again to a bit greek like what colors do greek use i think it's more like white and blue so we have very fast cool greek looking texture roughness i don't need here to mix so i set it up to one in the roughness and zero in mixing and of course we have to manipulate it um, color ramp we need to take it back like i did with by hand or just reset color ramp so now we have a clean greek material let's try a different one something from asia i like this very much some textures was created by daniel meyer he's a very good talented guy who understand all this blender stuff and can create epic results and graphics for this case so what asian would look like i think bluish would be good too but reddish is a bit more asian i think reddish color this is interesting and you can play how you want it's uh, no limits here so we can use the color ramp to to uh, affect affect the patterns and yes so let's try a bit of uh, royal stuff again i like the colors perhaps blue in this case no yellow was nice again something like that and check out different textures just play around play around and have fun so and of course if you don't want to have some stuff like this we can easily select cyber we can easily go back to realistic textures and or synthetic we have synthetic here too something like that and push the color down set up the value to needed point so this is inverted i recommend to let these dots uh, black or grayish then you can add something like leatherish material to it like this a bit more saturation a bit darker and again play with the roughness this is only playing around how to to get very fast results and yes i like this very much so what can we go from here what will be the next step we have extra shading in the extra shading tab 
you can create additional effects like subsurface, sheen, emission, dirt, tearing, glitter hair fuzzles created with geometry nodes, wearing and test it out how it will look like. Now it's activate the UI and then you set up the eye here. Now you can play with the, the color ramp till you get some wearing here happening. Perhaps there could be some issues in here in their points, but I think uh, we can understand how the wearing is working and we can see some results here. So not reddish, I think white will be good. It is wearing. So you have a wear it material. Perhaps too much, perhaps too less, depending on how you w want to create. If we can make it very hard, but the intensity very low, you can uh, create this effect very fast. So, wearing added like dirt we can add to. This is only the intensity here. And now we can play with the scaling. We can play with the details and of course the noising, noisiness and the color ramp again. So if you want to have hard, hard uh, dirt like this, you can have this or you can easily set down the intensity and make it like this. So there are no limits. We need to understand there are now no limits to create fabric like textures. So if I want to go to base texture again and set up the colors back to a realistic one like a, a grayish um wool like this or play with the shading and uh, dirt intensity very low we have very very fast good results without touching the shader nodes so the dirt was in kind of uh, black and white but we have here the wearing do not forget it could affect to the color here too. So now we have again a clear texture. So from this step, what can we do else? I want to show you the velvet, which is a very cool effect. I like this. I turn it to zero first, both. And uh, now I hit it to one and you don't see anything. This is because of the Sigma. You can easily set up like this. I think for velvet looking like we need something like um, not that dark texture, a bit higher should be, and perhaps a bit of color like this, and a different texture. So what could look like velvet? We can search around testing here. I think this should be interesting and perhaps others know there are too hard so this no no this is not good yes I think the first choose was very nice okay and play out with the scaling again and here I don't want to have some micro texturing so I can turn it off so if we have now the velvet like the intensity is from the overlays too much I think we don't need it that high we open close first the colors if we need it so we have a clean UI here set up the overlay to one for example to have a small effect of the overlay or five five is enough and now we go back to the go back to the velvet so we can have Every time I clean UI, if you just close the, the parts and now I set up the Sigma higher and higher like this. So depending on what you want to achieve, you can create very fast, very good results. So for this part, 
in velvet i need the colors so let's check it with the colors like this is good so and the mix velvet now it's completely mixed it's overlapping the full full points um, i don't want to have denoising in this part and um, i just want to go a bit down so the velvet is affecting but not that much and the wearing is not that good in this point i don't want this i hit the intensity to zero and close it so so we have a clean velvet looking light uh, looking uh, material this is very cool i think so in in other point we have the hair fuzzles and with the hair fuzzles we can create the most realistic effect here i just open the ui and it shows me to create the hair fuzzles first so we just create and wait and perhaps sometimes you see directly an effect and sometimes you don't see because of the global scale so what is the global scale this is here from the fuzz puzzle um, geometry nodes we just play with the value set it to 10 or first to to force it and we see some results like here but the fuzzle is not taking the same material uh, like we want so we need to select it from the current object and this is the Suzanne simply close object so you can check or recheck it here simply material simply close so simply material simply close there it is now it will take the color from the from the texture so to see a very cool effect we can set up the color to a different color so if i close the extra shading and select different texture uh, like this cultures again perhaps now we can take arabic which should be cool i think no this is not that good uh, egyptian this uh, you will see of course i think so we set up a lower resolution so now i close it again mm -hmm. close the colors open the extra shading and now we can work on it we have now for performance um, uh, purposes set up to 100 so let's try 2000 what will be happen now we can see a very cool effect um, if we check it like here you see there are red fuzzles and white fuzzles depending on the color it is taking this and now it's of course too much the scaling is too high we easily set it to five for now just for testing and there we go we get a nice result of course this is not the best example to have a big kind of fuzzles or fuzzles here so we can give it a, a bit of fuzzles and again if we don't like the texture go here fast and select a different one this is all here nothing special perhaps we try it no something like that again so the color again i don't like this color here i just want something like greenish perhaps or yellowish or just white black white texture
and of course the scaling it's all here with view clicks you don't need to add some shader nodes and stuff so if i like the fuzzles we can check them here this is nice and we can easily adjust each uh, fuzzle by hand there are three main puzzles and it's one two and three we can set it all to zero so i try to reduce it for now just uh, we see this puzzles better and the root thickness i set to 20. so we have a better uh, results yeah to see it in the in this case so perhaps you go to the light a bit yes this is too much but i want to show you we have only the first fuzzle activated if we activate the second in the scaling we can set up the scaling and we can set it up to five and higher values and of course the root thickness is for all the same it's a global but it's too high you see we don't need this that high so this is interesting now and it's too high so i think the first scaling was good and uh, from the first i don't want have that much so we reduce it to the half so like this and the third puzzle looks like crumple or how to tell it's like uh, rotated in his self and we check the scaling again yes so we can create some interesting looking fabrics with some kind of uh, fuzzles and the density you can achieve and select it too achieve very fast results here so the density i don't want to have zero from the first zero from the second something like that i don't want to have that much crumply uh, fuzzles so i set it up to one two uh, point two or point one too much the scaling is too high so what can we do here is very low value and then set up the density on the second and this should be 0.5 like this and now we can set up the multiply density to, to uh, 200 perhaps i don't know 2000 i think so it will create more density and of course the the viewport render density here too and if you want to have uh, to close this and not uh, looking here just um, deactivate it in the viewport very easy the next step will be we can create some we have some interesting interesting um, puzzle collections here so we can very fast jump for different uh, fuzzles ready made you need just to drag in moment so just like this choose three we just drag into the scene set it to zero and then we can easily go here and select the collection of us three now it will create something like that which i like very much this is very fast created stuff the scaling is too high in this case so let's try a lower value like three and yes depending on how you rendering you can achieve this result very fast if you want crampling or um, carpet like just select something like this so fuzz 12 we select our mesh again and select the fuzz 12 and check how it look like and you see not that much result why is this this is the scaling it could affect in some cases 
good in some cases not that good and the density is affecting in in every point so you need to find your way uh, for the best settings here but we see here now we have very cool very great results so the root is too high it's too thick here we can set it down and now it's look it is looking very good now we can leave it like here this is the hair fuzzle so i like this very much and we can all mix together but for now we don't need this uh, hair fuzzle and this delay is coming from rendering full, full time in cycles so you don't have this if you go to Eevee, you have a pre-compile time which uh, create sharper looking um, uh, result but it, now the performance is going down because of all these viewports uh, fuzzled so we can set it to 20 just for the viewport so we, we know ah there is this but if we are rendering there would, will be 200 and not 20 just for performance points so this is an EV looks very nice and you can adjust all this stuff too but not this wearing velvet back face inside and dispersion I show you the next uh, both um, um, features in the next step so I can leave this here or if I want to show you back face we can check the, the clause and we can drag it up and see we have back face culling on. So the back face culling was in these sections. I missed this where it was. <laughs> Perhaps. Okay, we go to cycles first. So if we want to have a back face, I select again different colors so we see the so we see the the point of it. So we have a blue looking clause and then we want to have back face inside. So we activate it like this. Now we have created very fast back face with one click. If I don't like the color, I can set it up like blue or something like this and mix intensity, set it bit down. Or just this. In most cases, it is useful to have perhaps black. And other cases, you don't need this black. You can play with the saturation, of course. But in this case, we can leave it white. So, this is the back face. Very fast, very easy. And, of course, you need to understand, if you have sol Solidify on it, it will not take an effect because we have a Solidify here, a thickness in the clothes. There is no back face. The back face is only in this section if we turn it up like this and if you go inside now the mesh it should appear there it is in white uh, but with not no light so we go back with the value and the level of viewport is perhaps too, too high so it will not take that much so the next step is take it back like this and this asset library will be available of course with the add-on so this is a good time sell, uh, time saver the cool step and feature now I want to show you is the dispersion holographic cycles only of course 
So Eevee is not uh, taking it. this, I don't know why, but this is like it is, so nobody is mad about this. We activate it and see no results. What is this? This is the, the color which is affecting here. We can take it down. We can check the normal. I show you the effect. If we turn it down, we have something like this. And of course, like I told, if we have velvet turned on, it will mix it to all the stuff. In this case, we don't need velvet anymore. I just remove this and show you very cool, epic results. I like it very much. So, a cool feature of this shader is if we take down these lights and this will be good, I think, and this light, you will notice some cool effect. Perhaps not this light, other, perhaps we can set out this and this. I need to check, I show you. So we have the dispersion material and we can play with the values here very fast. So if we have no dispersion, we have like a clean, transparent oil or a transparent material. We can play with the roughness and have directly results like milky, plastic like clothes, which is transparent. We can add our global normal to it. So you can see it better if it's in roughness to zero, it's going to zero. So the normal is affecting here very, very hard. So just try a lower value and check out how it looks like with lower values. Because the normal is distorting, distorting the roughness a bit in the dispersion. So we need to find a good spot to represent our dispersion. So let's check and we see it is affecting. This is cool, but I don't need this here. I don't need this in dispersion. I want it clean. So the next step is the cool part, the dispersion itself. If we go slowly with the values, 2.3, you can see this holographic foil effect, which is affecting to the shadows too. So this is 0.3, we can make 0.6, we can make 1, depending on what you need. You can overwrite this in points like this and see what is happening. Play with the IOR. So depending what you need, you can achieve epic results. And we leave it to 1.45 and dispersion to 1.6 or 0.3 will be enough. And a bit of roughness to get a bit milky look. And we see the dispersion is slowly appearing. You can play again with the value and then you see very cool results. So what I want to show you is here, if I put on a light here and set it up to 200, for example. Now, where it is? Perhaps here. And we check the lights again, we try to get them off, so I can show you the, the effect of it. And perhaps we take off our object here, and the world strange, yes, now I think it's visible, set it to zero, and you see it's kind like of, where's the light? Oh, I make the 
false light like this if you do it very clear you have the dispersion dispersion effect if you want of course there it is a bit of castings is creating uh, which is very cool so I think I show you all the stuff which is very cool there will be much more epic features like painting uh, and additional lines set up and all that stuff will be available in each uh, texture layer and yes this is uh, the first overview of the add-on and i think you like it i hope you like it because it is um it is a very very interesting in case of the workflow so i hope you understand the the time saving effect here and understand how cool this is not touching the shader nodes it's so much pain for many people so they uh, want to have uh, a faster solution and the faster solution i think is here for fashion materials for clothes and for fabrics and te textiles and all that stuff this is very important to understand so we can achieve very good results so why it is white yes because we have it turned to white a few minutes ago we can play again with the color if we want add different texture to it or perhaps you can show some ai generated textures we have some animal stuff and we don't want to use the uh, color ramp which what we created we want to use the texture color from itself and we want to uh, mix the roughness to the to the um, texture and see what is going on here so in this case we don't need that much i like to add velvet here again and yes we can create very fast full results this is the ai generated stuff which is cool uh, you can do your own own stuff and can we do else art we have some art stuff like this and of course if the micro texture is not affecting that much we can check again the normals play with the masking stuff if it needed if not and try to mix it to the base so we have here this texture is too low to not too good to see so we take something like this make it like here mixing in the micro uh, color ramp to, to the half of it and again add a bit of more normal and of course we don't get it back we have the global normal set to zero because of the dispersion so we turn it back to one this was a, a small fault by me now but i think you understand so if we set it to zero we can see the effects if i don't like it's going inside just invert the base color so and again let's check out the other materials what we have here what we have there something like this looks cool yeah checking again in in near it's too much here in and there so what can we do we can play with the normal and set it slowly up like this point one will be good i think and the micro normal should affect full of the clothes so we if we go back 
again and see this and this makes me happy to see the fast quality in in each in each case what colors and what stuff we can create so a bit more light again i think it will not be that bad so where it is the i had um this light too my uh, power is too low so let's check again and of course the world range check some other textures this should be cool and very fast results and of course i will show you the same for uh characters clothing garments which is very important for this part and uh, you can see some interesting workflow which is so easy and good to use uh, to achieve very fast cool results um, for the first video i think it's, it is enough it's without cutting it is directly recording and i think you will understand the need of this add-on which will save you much time very very fast very very much time so depending on what you need you don't need to search anymore you don't need to set up the tilings you don't need to make shader notes you don't need to understand and learn learn the shader notes you just can't start with the workflow creating uh, fabrics materials with easy going and overlay we can push again up to create this effect and yes i hope you understand this interesting workflow and how we can achieve cool results with pre-made textures for all people no matter what what are you doing if you doing blender you're doing well this is a very good uh, point i think so we have textiles of course here too so you can see all the the stuff we have here we can show you and perhaps a bit of futuristic stuff yes and i hope you like this so if i go here we can see susan i created this very fast with one texture all is created directly here with my add-on in a few minutes i had very good results like this so if you want to change this i just select the parts we need make it like here we can check the micro tiling we don't need here micro we don't need here the overlay so we have a clean but this will make again a 3d like so not all in the world is clean like that so i recommend to to think a bit of a um, different way so you can achieve very realistic results with few clicks so the the eye uh, the glasses was made too so you are not limited to clothes and fabrics only you can do wallpapers too so how can we test the wallpapers like we want to have a wallpaper like this and we have a wall it is going like here and of course we need to unzip this uh, unzip unpack unwrap this and just create simply material and select um, texture like texture color it what what we have here something like that with uh, texture and this is more like a chair texture so this is not that effective for walls so what can we check here and see here logos color it uh, details 
synthetics. I think in realistic, you can find something like this. And this will create a wall like you want. And we don't want to use the base, uh, the texture color. We want to have a own, an own color like this. And micro texturing. So we have a very fast wallpaper created here. What can we check more? Perhaps something from art abstract, what we have here. And then we have a wallpaper. It's all depending on you where the limits are. So, yes, the uh, UV is here stretched. Uh, rotated, but I think this is not a problem for now, just for showcase how it could look like. So we have something like art here too. We want a wallpaper like this, a coffee shop. Let's try a coffee shop feeling like this. Wait, perhaps this will be better with white. With white, oh, I I missed it here. Like coffee shop without micro texture, perhaps 500 will be fine. And yes, is inverse. We have a coffee shop wallpaper. What can we select more? Music stuff, music room. Do what you want. Do what you like. And create, just create using cool stuff and learn what you want. I think we can create very cool results together. So you see how fast I can, I can work. This is a big, big, uh, help so what have we more here something like that flowers yes we have all that stuff all created geometrical what have we here yes yeah, some people like something like that yes it's all depending on your limits your creativity if you are creative, you will find cool solution, cool stuff, and cool effects. I think in the AI textures was very nice uh, textiles or historical stuff, so we can use it for wallpaper. I like this. So let's use the main texture, and yes. We have a cool result, very cool result. So now I'm talking one hour now with noise in the background. I hope you're not uh, uh, not uh, disturbed by this. <laughs> this is my uh, daily uh, vo uh, noise or sound location environment. So I think we can understand this together and nobody's mad about it. So, we created wallpaper. We can create floors and all that stuff. If you want to have a special, special like floor, where I heat up the floor a bit higher like this. So we have a carpet created directly with one click. If I want to have a different one like mm -hmm, something really carpet like and a bit of more normal without the overlay of course you can do overlay here too so we have a wrinkled like old, um, floor 
but I want to have I had something like that here, yes. The overlay intensity set first down, then Marco 2, and we can easily create fake carpet like look like floor. And push up the normals if needed. Yes, we have created very fast. Carpet look like uh, floor here. So what else we have? We, there is so much to show you. I hope you will understand by yourself how cool this is. So this will be, I think, more like a dirtyish like this will be good if you want a different style of carpet like this in white like a white carpet looks like this or a bit yellowish there are depending on what you need you can create carpets and if you have a uh, curtains just do it let's give it a try just do it. I think we can create very cool stuff from out here, from this add-on. And so if we want to create really cool stuff, we need to be creative, I think. So what we have here to change more, this is not like a wallpaper depending on what you need what you want you can create very fast and cool add-ons and this is i told you 100 times now but i think uh, you will understand yes if you want to have this in carbon like just carbon it's not uh, directly an uh, and gloss or fashion material but what can we do let's check we can play with the normals Set the normal here and there it is set up the colors to use texture it's, this is black and white just like if i reset this we get the same result here and the high scaling like this but of course i think we need more uh darker look like play with the roughness again check out uh, clear coat is on so very low clear coat perhaps we can turn it off now play again with the roughness metallic we can slow down a bit and now we have a carbon like look like design perhaps here is velvet on no it's not on dirt no surface sheen free now it's on so perhaps i need to smooth perhaps the scaling is now too high so I think you understand um, how to how to work with the atom now, so we can create cool results. Oh, something like this. Do whatever you like. You can create so beautiful materials with this, and if you're able to work with the shader nodes just go to the shader node and manipulate it but if you manipulate the shader nodes like it is created by the workflow i create this could affect the ui and it could not work um, like you are getting it from here and if you miss all stuff and do something wrong and you cannot change anything anymore just hit this reset all changes and it will reset it 
it's only not resetting the textures, but this is fine. So you have again more control again over it and can add and play with the parameters again. So uh, I think that's it. You can export the textures, of course. Uh, I totally missed this. You can export the textures you create, just select them, uh, what you need, Cavity, OpenGL or DirectX, back selected to the export path, which file format and compression and which uh, head you want. So this will be, will be cool to design and then it will use this as a prefix for the names and then just bake it takes a while uh, it is baking with uh, cycles and you can you can use them in the game engine you don't need to go to other painting programs you just can do it here and paint yourself if you want something and then go easily go easily to the export textures use it in your game engine or other engine or just recycle this create here the materials use the textures in other scene to save uh, performance and ram and all that stuff and there you go you will be very fast with this i think so this was my experience in this add-on i saved a ton of time to uh, to creating uh, textures for fabrics, for wallpapers, for all. You can easily work with this and bake this. And yes, that's it. I think that's it. I wish you the best and only the best. So keep learning, keep doing and never give up. I believe in you all and I wish you all the best and only the best. Yes, my name is Vyacheslav Tissen and have a nice day. <laughs>